morning guys welcome to today today is wednesday today's wednesday even ruby is excited it's wednesday dun, 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 dun. we're here at least i'm here first one to the barn come on good morning good morning pony good morning willow the cat's here is coming Every time we walk in the barn, I hear thump, 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 and they run up into the roof where the dogs can't catch them. Today is supposed to get nice and warm, like nine degrees or five degrees or something like that. Oh, yes, my girl's talking. She's saying, give me my food. Look at how clean I stayed last night. Oh, dear. You've had a disaster in the stall, Penny. You see? She's knocked her salt lick, which she did not like when we first moved her here. She knocked it out and she ran out of water apparently. Penny gets mad when she runs out of water. You talking to? There you go, princess. There you go. Somebody asked me last night, how often do we clean our stalls? We clean them every single day. They look funny in the camera though. I look in the stalls after they're clean, I'm always like, whoa, our stalls are so beautiful. But then when I look in the camera later, I'm like, wait, what the heck happened to our stalls? There's so many things that get lost. And there are so many things that are exaggerated in the camera. Like, in the past, people have thought that we've been hitting our horses on times because of the way it's cut. And how we'll move one way and then we'll cut to another thing and it'll make it look like... Yeah, it's something I totally do not understand. Life is never boring with children. With children and horses, there's never a dull moment. Today I'm going to try letting the ponies go out all on their own. Including, including my penny girl. Get out there, Missy. Miss Pink Girl. Are you ready, Pen? I'm gonna let you go out a little by yourself. Oh, I didn't get a chance to clean you. Wow, pretty girl, pretty good, yay. So one of the reasons why I'm glad that Penny appears to be the leader of the herd is because I don't want Willow to eat all the hay. And she's kind of a good leader in that she's not, doesn't terrorize them. She just makes sure that they know who, that she's the boss. She just makes them move their feet and that's all she does. She sometimes does a little lunge at them, but she never, like they, even Gracie, just, they know that she's not gonna hurt them. And so yeah, that's perfect, it per turned out perfect. I believe that Penny is getting to be such a different horse since she moved in. One, because she's settling in, but I feel like we are communicating in the right direction. And yeah, I don't know how horses communicate exactly i don't read their body language and be able to tell exactly what that means but i can tell when she's upset or angry or doesn't want something all you need to do is be able to feel to know that and i i think penny feels heard i honestly believe that she knows that i'm listening to her that i care about what she thinks and I think that she understands now that I'm not the kind of person to jump on and let's go flying. And I think she appreciates that. I feel like we have an understanding. That doesn't mean that we're not going to go through patches where we don't understand each other. That is definitely going to happen. But for some reason, I can understand her and tell what she's thinking so much better than any other, any other horse we've ever owned or any other horse I've ever ridden. 
It's been such an empowering thing. I worried so much before I bought her. Like, what if I can't handle a horse? What if it turns out that I hate being around her? Like, what if I, what if, what if, what if? But it turned out to be the ap absolute opposite. My heart yearns to be in the barn and to spend time with her. And that is the biggest blessing of all. All right, Gabs, what's on the agenda today? Riding twice. You're gonna ride. She booked the barn for 3.30 till 5. Oh, okay, so you're gonna ride at 3.30 with Kaylee? Yeah. All right, so I'll just drop you off? Mm -hmm. What time are we riding? I don't know, I have to look at the thing, at the calendar. Is Paige riding with you guys too? I have no clue. Um, Sophie, what do you have planned for today? Um, Imagine it was your birthday and you could do whatever you wanted for the whole day. Is it my birthday? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry about your luck, sister. Sorry about your cold Get foot, too. Kit. We actually have three, we actually have five pitchforks, or maybe even six, but there's only two that people prefer. So the last one. The other ones are broken. No, that's the not. The red one's gonna break soon. So use it till it breaks. It's yours. No, I don't wanna break it, it's mine. So last one. Do you wanna break your pitchfork? No, yours? mine's brand new. Yeah. We need to go back to Greenhawk, though. And this is my favorite one because it's I think it's raining. Yeah, it's raining a little. But anyway, if somebody wanted to know how often we clean our stalls. It's every day. I realize I haven't shown it lately. So I'm showing you guys that we clean our stalls. The girls share that thing and I use this one. This one I find better, easier for me to manage. So I use it. Well, because you don't like lugging that thing through the thing is, is that I have to yeah. empty mine at least twice per stall and they only have to empty that once. All right, we are headed out. It's the crack of dawn. Why are you headed out, Laura, you ask? Oh, oh, I want to do Karate that. chop. Oh, no, my hands are frozen. Crap. Oh, mine doesn't go down that far. So basically, oh, no, basically, I have to schedule our riding hours every week. So I have to go on the app and schedule our time to ride. And today, which we didn't ride on Monday, which we always ride on Monday, today, today we, I scheduled us to ride at 10 a.m. because that's the time, that's the only time we could go. And it's 10 a.m. So we gotta go to the barn. Sophie said she's gonna lunge Finn. And I said, why, are you scared? And she said, no, but he's probably gonna be fresh. And I'm like, yeah, but you can ride fresh. And she's like, I said, even I can ride fresh. And she's like, yeah, but your mare doesn't do anything. So our five are here. I love how I have taken Kaylee's horses into our herd. There are horses, all of them. So let's see who Gabby's gonna ride this morning. There's Chino over there and Stormy Night over there. Stormy Night for the win. So Gabby's riding tonight with Kaylee, so she's gonna ride Chino then. So she's gonna ride Storm today, which is great. Like, they were playing? Let him poop now because get it out before we get in the arena. A Vinny Vin? They're like, oh darn, you're not here just to visit? Our luck is over. What's on his head? Is it just wet? Gabby says Chino's sad that his friends got taken away. I don't know. I feel like he kind of feels like he won the lottery. I feel like he feels like he won the lottery. He's like, woohoo, it's not my turn. Like this I don't know. He seems to like being in the field. Hi, Storm. You not? You do not look energetic. You're okay, big boy. Stay with your friends. So the reason I had to book late today or early today is because the barn is booked for this whole entire day. Usually, whoa! I got a kiss from Pin. I got a kiss from you. Um, usually Tuesdays are the busy day, not Wednesdays. Today is a busy day. Saturdays. Saturdays are busy. Usually Tuesdays and Wednesdays and Thursdays and Saturdays are the busy days. Mondays and Fridays and Sundays, nobody comes. So those are the days that I like to come. All right, so Gabby's complaining about the cost of her new bit. She bought a Waterford. Why did you buy it, Gabby? People be asking. Because I wanted to try it on my horses and it's good to have multiple bits around because Sometimes your horse needs like a different bit to have a harsher bit and Finn can use it if it doesn't work out for those boys. So is this a harsher bit or not? Uh, 
It can be stronger, but it's not a harsh bit. Do you, does Storm need a harsher bit? No, but I'm trying it on him because sometimes he gets a little strong. Like I have to put on my fin arms. Does she have to use her fi that's why fin arms on you? Going like that's after. Yeah, it's the rare occasion where he's like, "Let's go." Does he look like he's gonna say, "Let's go today," or does he look like he's yeah, just? He's saving, up his he's saving up your energy, Stormy. Are you saving it up? Are you gonna let Gabby have it out there? So if we ask, I maybe we'll do a poll on Instagram, but whenever I ask people, Storm is our most beloved horse. He's our most beloved horse. I think a lot of times the beginner riders or the older riders that want a safer ride love Storm because he's that. And I think a lot of the young kids who want a horse love him because he was the first horse and he was been an amazing horse, an amazing first horse. He's like shocks, <laughs> shocks. Um, so I think like, that's why, because a lot of people can relate to him, and that makes him special. And even if nobody else in this whole entire world knew him, he would always still be special to us for those exact same reasons that he's special to so many of you guys. Right, Stormy Boy? Are there still any ultimate? No. Do you think he needs it? I want him to have it, because okay. he doesn't like the girl. The reason that I don't have them on the ulcer supplement, like it's just a supplement to prevent ulcers and, and it's a really good one, is yeah, because Finn doesn't it's like hard to get. After sneeze and Finn, I noticed, Finn doesn't like his girth. He I likes. know. He has been acting different since we moved here, but there is, I don't think he would have ulcers. Like he's not a high risk course for ulcers. But look at that butt. It is kind of looking big, he Finny. He has a big butt. He's a quarter horse. Yeah, he does. I'm, I'm a quarter horse, too. <laughs> if I was a horse, I'd be a quarter horse because of my butt. If you were a horse, what would you be? Quarter horse. Quarter horse. If you were a, a horse, what would you be? A pentex. Probably a Thoroughbred. I bet you you'd be a thoroughbred. What? <laughs> All right, we'll say an appendix. Yeah, I got it. An appendix. Kind of a mix between all right red so red. That. that's cool but i could also be a tennessee walking horse you know why because they have like an a frame and i have even though it might not be hard for you to tell but i have really narrow i have i have consider i have considerably narrow shoulders to the rest of my body i'm like an a shape myself or a pair whatever one you want to call it but yeah Tennessee walking horses are kind of shaped like that too. In the comments below, if you were a horse, what breed would you be? One thing that is, one thing I've definitely learned is that my girls know their horses way better than I know them. Yeah, because is it better that I have my own horse now and I have a different focus and I let you like do your own thing with Yeah, <laughs> until you don't listen to me. I know. I was picking his scab in the back. He just had a teeny tiny scab. And one was ready to come off and I picked it and he was like, oh, that's okay. And then the next one, he was like, don't touch it. <laughs> Look at that. You can see where the snow is on the roof. Isn't that cool? No, you're fine, Sophie. We don't know that any snow is going to fall while we ride and... He's okay with that. It's, it's getting hot, so. Yeah, but it, it's not hot. It never, it's always in the afternoon or early evening that it happens. Mornings are colder. No, it's still morning. Come on, get up there. So we spent a lot of that ride sitting in the middle of the arena watching the snow fall. Like it was terrifying. It was funny. It, it was cool. It was terrifying. You didn't see it. I did not spend most of my ride. Doing that. No, but we did spend time in our ride staring at the snow falling off. So it was lucky we came in the morning. It'll be way worse this afternoon when it really starts to fall. Anyway, we're going to run over and help Fiona do something really quick. So we're putting our horses back fast today. Did you give him carrots? Had one. Did you give him carrots? I had an apple and did he have apples? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. All right. I'm going to sweep up early here. They, they act all brave when the camera's on, but they were all scared, mostly Sophie and Finn. So we've been home for a couple of hours. Sam took Gabby back to the barn to ride with Kaylee. And I'm not gonna lie, it's getting dark out. It is 4.30 p.m. Sophie and I have been sitting on the couch this whole entire time. I've been trying to finish my Christmas shopping and online, all the stuff I have to do online. Sophie's just been relaxing, like, we came home sometimes I crash like usually I'm so busy sometimes I crash I crash we actually stopped on the way home from the barn to visit Fiona we haven't seen her in a while it was really good to just have like a little visit 
I told her we all miss her. I've been getting a lot of comments saying, bring Fiona back. Yeah, well, she please. isn't coming back for a couple more months. So we just got to suck it up, you guys. The snow is melting. Okay, so melting and turning into mud. This is what happens. What a mess. Hi, Penny Pickle. Penny, no, don't call her. I love that. I could call her that all the time. Penny Lane. Hi, Penny Lane. Tomorrow is the day that our vet does. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Dogs. Ah. Tomorrow is the day that our vet does a re-evaluation of Miss Penny Pickle. He is going to come, which I love. I love when he comes. And he's going to reassess her ulcer issue if she has ulcers. I'm gonna get like a stool sample done because I don't think she has ulcers. Your horse needs water. She needs to. Hi, Gracie girl. Hello, precious pony. Hello. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hello, Penny. Penny's like, don't come near her. She's all mine. Everything she has in her hands are for me. That's why. That's why I do not bring treats anymore. All right, we're gonna try this. We're gonna just try and see what happens. Uh oh. Oh, good golly. Okay. Wow. <laughs> so, so we had friends here yesterday, and the uh, grandmother was telling me that she loves to see the way that Penny moves, and I was like, yeah, me too, like, I love that big movement that she has, it's like she's excited all the time. Hey, Penny! So look, the, the vet is going to reassess her eyes, and last time he was here, her eyes were clear like this. Oh, I swear, her, she has an allergy. All right, we're done. We have got the ponies all I in. I can't do it. Wait, I can't do it. I can't do it now. Camera shy. I can't do it. We need more growing. I know, we're going to get grain tomorrow. All right, let's go. We are done. We are done for tonight. I We have super crazy plans for Saturday. I'm super excited to share with you on what we're doing on Saturday. Super exciting plans, plan. Um, we'll see you guys tomorrow. I can charge my phone. Look. Don't you know that you